Minasan Kanichiwa. Bisu no bido e yukaso. And welcome to I Love You, Colonel Sanders, a thing on looking good dating simulator. I've seen this out here for ages now. Like, I've been watching this game for ages, but I haven't played it or anything. The only thing I know about it is it's a KFC dating simulator. Um, that is literally all my knowledge on the game. And, yeah, without further ado, let's just fire right in. Uh, before we get started, how's your name? Charlie. Oh, wait. oh, geez, that noise. Fucking hell. That is not a name. KFC, don't write that name. Uh, write that fucking sound effect. What the fuck is that? I've never had that at KFC. Yeah, chicken's like one of my favourite foods, especially KFC. So I thought this game was literally perfect. But I've never. What the fuck is that? Is that like a chicken biscuit? <laughs> you see. <laughs> <coughs> You sleep, you sleep softly as the morning sun casts a warm glow through the window of your modest digital apartment. The world is peaceful and serene. You could stay in the moment forever. <coughs> Fuck it <hell>. out! <coughs> Jesus! Or you could wake up now, now, now. Your first air of nurse goes now, toasted. Why can you shut the fuck up? Lying in bed, you stare at the ceiling. Think about everything that awaits you at the prestigious university. Academy for Learning. Your mind begins to wander. Who will be there? What will you cook? What should you wear? Time begins to fly by as you find your imagination getting away from you. You allow yourself to your event, thinking about the future. It's here, finally. Your first day of culinary school. So many dishes to prepare, so many soups to make. Your mind is swimming in possibilities when you realise you're running late, you grab a biscuit and burst out the door in a hurry. That, what is that? Is that supposed to be a chicken biscuit? Mmm, delicious! Just what you want to, what you need to wake up those taste buds. Yikes, you're in such a hurry. In fact, you forgot to put on any deodorant before running out the door. You're sweating buckets as you rush to arrive on time. Uh oh. Standing in the quad, you gaze upon the magnificent University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning. Here comes your lifelong best friend forever, Miriam. She's the most adorably awkward person you've ever met, and you absolutely love her for it. Good morning, Charlie. Are you excited for the first day of the rest of our lives? Actually, I'm. Because I sure am. Excited, a little nervous. Okay, okay, a lot of nervous. What's that? It's just that it's one of my breaths or something. But well, when I ate it, I couldn't taste any love in the food. What if I'm no good? What if I fail? Classic Miriam. Oh, you wee prankster, ye. I wish you like. Raised by Master Chef Bert, she's always held herself to a very high standard. Ever since you were a little baby, it's plenty of getting rid of me from that quick sandbox. You include to me that you're the most. Loving, caring person I know. You're going to do so great. <laughs> but with University of Cooking School Academy for Learning through this three day on this magic, I'm afraid of being left behind and never catching up. A sweet girl, Miriam, has always had a flair for the dramatic. This summer she got so nervous about first thing that she chipped a tooth with facts in her mouth. Oh, Miriam, what's she like? Um. Pep talk your best friend. Remember last month when we saw that fortune teller and had her talk, my friend? The lady with the mask gave me like this, I'm trying to forget. I know she looks stupid, but she was so sweet. She told you that you were destined for great things. Remember that card with the fast look at her and that other card fiction, the hands fell in red suit? I've been waiting for so long to make a hands I could call my own. I'm sure you will soon. In no time we'll be graduating. You'll be delighted to school when your heart felt what kicking in no time at all. I just told Mary not we can feel her nerves again too easy. You know what? Maybe everything will be a okay after all. And if not, at least I'll have a base killer band. Yeah, sure you do, man. Can you believe you're coming to myself? You can definitely believe it. I'm glad you said it, kid. I, uh, I can't believe it. Oh my god. 
the serious and dirt on the river, you're rudely interrupted when someone snatched your bits and custom grid measuring spoon that you had into the ground. Hey! It's Ashley! Your arch rival! She's totally evil, but you can't help if you feel too jealous. You can get anything she wants, and she knows it. Hello, Ashley. Oh, I didn't see you there, chicken shins. <laughs> what kind of insults that? You leave Charlie's shins alone, they're perfectly normal shins. Oh, you can't stand Ashley. With her name is like, you know for a fact that it's actually Ashley, but she had to have extra layers to make it to fit better than everyone. That's true, people do that. What a bunch of fatties. If anyone here knows what perfect shins looks like, it's us. We're not gonna let you or your really weird insults get to us. Across the crowd, you see Ashley's desperate. Van, Van, the man, man! <laughs> Stop to look at his own reflection in the mirror. His pants are so tight you can see him casually working out his glutes while he's starting to sit. No lie, they're rocking glutes. Ahem, Van, Van! You ran, ran! <laughs> what the You've never been sure what they raised your bed, but as long as you know them, I seem to have found I've just been a close to you and me. But something more different. Cavalry that you're the first of school academy for learning would ever allow people like you to say to No, right? You think you just kind of have the diplomas now? Or maybe hire us on as professors. You amateurs can learn a lot from us. We're the first of school, but it's tough. It's just not tough. To probably tear these two off, so you just see it. Let's go, man. Oh. Shit. See you later, losers. Oh my god. <laughs> As you approach the door, you see a goofy looking kid pushing hard against the window directly next to you. I think it's broken. Reach for it, use a bigger door. Open. Uh, that's strange, right? <laughs> I love you! I think you mean thank you. My name is Pop. I'll name that for my Pop Pop. He's old. So only like this old space in high school. He must be one heck of a chef. This is no tech case at all, but I guess it's really upside down. Hi, Pop. I'm Charlie, so are you gonna make me hold the store up there? <laughs> no! And with that, the young man walks to the bed and hear you. It's just me, it's kinda cute. Miram! She's a little kid, you are no fucking him. I think it's just you. You both shut your shoulders before following him into the building. You stand at the edge of the room. Don't you watch that? I was just wondering, I couldn't say it's pretty chit chat. Oh my. Wow. A scruffy looking pooch takes his place out, put him out of front of the crowd. Adorable! No, no, quiet down, everyone. Who's this unreasonably cute pup, and why is he not coming in the class? He must be sprinkled. Head instructor and CEO of US UCSAL. Please come, Professor Dog. I may be cute and little and fluffy, but still demand respect. Woof! What? Cute dog is our first That's the best school ever. I guess when my dog's most capable of picking up other loose to see a fine dining. Out of nowhere, wind begins to rush around you as a swirl of cherry blossom petals fill the air inside the throat. Fun fact, I adore cherry blossoms. Hey, Shilly, someone closed the window. And then... He walks in. You merely swept up in the roar of this new student and some remarkable good teeth. Who knew anyone could be so handsome? Time stands still. <laughs> it's him, it's this is my safest student, Harland. Colonel Sanders interrupts. This is so fucking strange. Colonel Sanders interrupts. Winkers. Sorry, Professor Dog. Before I can finish sentence. Shit! What fucking voice am I gonna give him? <coughs> Please call me Colonel. Colonel Sanders. A hushed murmur rose through the platforms. Colonel Sanders walks down the aisle of death. Suddenly, the room is sweltering. Sweat begins to beat across your brow. You feel like everyone is looking at you, and you're not entirely wrong. <laughs> this over here must be sweaty, sweaty. <laughs> Maybe we should open that window back up before Fossil Pit melts into a puddle and vampires entirely. 
hold on just a second. Nobody talks to my friend like that. She's about a fucking Kami Kami Harlem. You two both know my name. You were in the same kindergarten class. I was before you were really weird and so. Besides, we're in Charlie's, right? It's not close. It's beautiful. Look at that shimmer. You take a moment to clean yourself up. That's a good thing you didn't forget. Without the usual, this one, this class was hot, hot, hot. We said the dog steps into the other class and sat down grimly. Welcome to University of Cooking School Academy for Learning, the greatest culinary academy in the world. The birthplace of culinary legends, past, present, and future. Many challenges await you. There will be tears, there will be blood. There might even be really adorable tiny feet. And when all is said and done, there will be a battle. You will lift your sparks and compete in the brilliant cooking arena. Just then, another student enters class and enters the person who has feet. Hi guys, sorry I'm late. I hope parents had a good summer. I really need quiet. Two classes, but enough. But in short, my monologue, you're on the fast track kind of way, young man. Are you sure you're in the right place? Don't you recognize me? This my first year in the school years, my teacher. Everyone stares at him blankly. Does no one remember me? I'm. You're expelled if you utter one more word before I finish. Let that be a list to your students, then. My this is unacceptable. Even when class made it here on time, but when halfway across town, I was telling the news. I saw the students, breakfast, parents, breakfast, and returned. Two appears with some sort of industrial kitchen at time. This is where are I like Clank. Class burst into laughter. Oh, Clank, you rascal. <laughs> What's he like? Sprinkles walks in the classroom, and everyone stands aside and speaks. When he gets to it, he lets his nose into the air to his deep snuff. Hmm, your diet is lacking based on what I'm picking up here. You definitely need a multivitamin. You should be taking better care of yourself. You know how Tom Darkness is, bro. The strength of rotation for being smart, but tough as well, no. Uh, you said to try and bow up, but by nature, it's very popular. What can? Mate, this is a KFC game. Chicken is obviously gonna win. You reach beneath your apron and return a chicken snack in hand. Sprinkles ask him why he's a long time to it. His. His favorite. I scored this one. Well, well, well. I think there might be some competition for new star student. The third percent of it develops a snack. Then you have select for a coating of warm turkey drink. Ugh. You see the other students say, I need jealousy. But pay me no mind to them. If they wanted to succeed in life, they should have learned the coatings of carrying a range of dark treat flavors on them at all times. Exactly right. Settle down, young chefs. Take your seats and prepare to have your mind open to the amazing possibilities of culinary creation. As everyone rushes to claim their favorite seats, to your left stand on the front of the room, there are two options here. Hey, Charlie, there's a seat over here. It seems no, that no one has claimed the significant me if you're interested. Oh, man. I hope she's not heartbroken, but Colonel me. You're not my love interest, Miriam. You need to take your seat by Colonel Sanders. It appears you've got no bits, pen to pen. However, it's perfect up right across the shoulder of a seat as I wish you probably this desire to learn. Thanks for offering me the seat. I've only had two rooms. Do all you can and do it the best you can. It's the only way you ever get that feeling of accomplishment, Sam. That's so inspiring. A little off topic, Jaffy, but okay. As soon as you've started into your seat, you've to make some nice ones. Think fast and stand for a pop quiz. <laughs> Yay, a quiz about me. 
it's incredibly important to brandish your quick return if you're ready for life to come in the Do not shine and your focus sharp. I think of question one. If train A is traveling to point B and train B is traveling to point A, how important is it to wash your hand quickly? Uh, doesn't matter how. That's wrong. That's wrong. Wait, what? Force is to tree of chicken is to. Force is to tree of chicken is to. Feather. That's right. But the most efficient eating agency ever created. I don't know. No, I support. Yeah. What food is bad for a broken heart? Thank you ever since it's an interest as it very well and not too much up. That's right. Is Prince is a good boy? Yes. Your toe scores are oh, fuck off. Only one rule. Not to try, you might just do alright, kid. You look out, see that curve sand. Go wash your tires, but another thing. May have your attention, students. I have an important announcement to make. Time for lunch! Yay! Wow. The cafeteria is nice. That sign is so fucking sarcastic that way. Wow! The cafeteria is as nice as any restaurant you've ever eaten at. It makes sense that's good old kids cooking. The old food series where you eat. Delicious fragrance flash through the room and tickles the end of your nose. Your mouth waters. Do you smell that? That must be our lunch. It smells really good. Everyone can I have your attention. Is that about lunch? No, I just want to apologize for the time. You see, I was... Wait, hold on. <coughs> How did... Oh no, wait. <laughs> Give me a sec. To perfect his voice. Um... Howdy f... Howdy, folks. I lied, I'm making an announcement. Hey, I... It's about lunch. Oh, mate, his voice is shit one day. I like him a hunky voice. <coughs> it's about lunch. No. It's about lunch. <laughs> it's about lunch. <coughs> it's about lunch. 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 Right, I'll think about it. <laughs> His voice is going to change called time through this play food, so relax. Everyone cheers. But I... Shh. Lunch. 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 She said, shh. In honor of the new semester, I have prepared some special sale with everyone for lunch. Uh -huh. <laughs> that must be the smell I smell. Indeed, that smell is. You hold your breath, wait, so what fruit this pursuit did? How it's clean. Paradise for a chance. But where the room is true? Is this. Colonel Sanders lifts that large bucket above his head. It's constant splim in the light. Powered high, a huge piece of chicken. Breaded and fried to a crispy golden fish. Fucking hell. Mate, you guys want make me want to have a KFC. The aroma in fellows. And she began to feel warm and safe. Colonel Sanders has filled a bucket with chicken. What a novel concept. Look how happy he is with himself. Your stomach gets numb as if to say stuff like to start eating. For years I've been developing a secret recipe for the perfect fried chicken. By my calculation, nothing less than 11 herbs and spices are required to achieve the perfect balance of flavor. Look around, those that I've ever seen as a pen and paper and a scrub of notes as fast as I can. But that's all I'll say about that. What? You f Wait, hold on. <coughs> what? You think we want your stupid secret recipe, dude? Psha! Nah, my dear, nah. I'm just a uh, drafting the last will and testament in case uh, one of those green juices I have poison. Got him? That's the voice. Where's my nose? You see, if anyone else is laughing at a sick bird. He's <laughs> so fucking bad, you see. Where is he? Well, so now, actually, I was prepared to fall out, but she's starting to take a different approach. Yeah, and I was just like writing in my diary. Dear diary, today I saw some beautiful. Near that moment that only the hands of a true gentleman could fry chicken so tender. See, her body language change from bat on evil to sweet and nasty. She slides closer to Colonel Simon. She realizes that he is death for greatness and fame. Okay, and that she wants some old friends. By the way, she's a bit alright, is she not, lads? Like, fucking look at those hips and that ass. Whoa. She has some nice chabbies on her, too, mate. Mm. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna do that. 
Oh, please. Hmm. Well, Fan Fan the man there. She don't want any. I'll take his. Whoa, whoa, hold on. I mean, I guess I'll try it. Tastes one by his eyes go white. He starts comforting his face as he tries to hold in his pure exhilaration and act unimpressed. Yeah, easy now. There's enough for everyone. Please, my fellow classmates, dig in. You take one of the pieces of fried chicken out of his bucket and sink your teeth into it. It's amazing. Oh my god, taste of Colonel Sanders food transports you to another dimension. Savor the moment and everything that tells you about Colonel Sanders coming your heart. Swim towards the light. Somewhere up ahead, a blue light, a bright light beckons you. Focus your mind and meditate on this moment, try and identify the flavor. The flavors are so intense, you become wrapped up in them. And then to this day, she reaches towards the light. It grabs your head and pulls you closer. Closer. Take your fingertip. Connects to the end of everything. You are forever lost in the land of tender fried chicken food. Your mind dissolves. There is no Charlie now. It's only herbs and spices. For Miriam tries to revive you. She cannot. Game over. Wait, what? Wait. <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> Hold on a second here. Hold the fucking phone, mate. Nah, hold on. What was that? Shit, so we've unlocked in this chapter. <laughs> what the fuck? That was so strange. Jump. I guess that's a good time to leave it off. Well. That's a, that was an experience. If you guys want more, please comment down below. And to the next one, guys. Peace.